So now that we are super inspired, that we have some tips about innovation, we need to come up with other fields, maybe, no? You know, maybe uh, talk about the environment, talk about climate. And here we have a talk from CJ Kamsa as behind. She's an engineer. She's a soil chemistry, chemistry engineer, a soil fertility and plant nutrition researcher, a young climate leader, and an environmentalist. There are no passengers in on a spaceship on Earth. We all are create. Uh, we are our crew. She. That's what one phrase of her. I know it sounds kind of weird in my words, but she's just an inspiration. She's always trying to share quotes, and also say the is well known as a researcher with a remarkable scientific background who works in the field of soil pollution with heavy metals and its management and control strategies. She's very interested in working in the field of environment and natural resources sustainable management, increasing the production of agricultural products and paying special attention to the production of healthy agricultural products to achieve food security and her main goals. We have a lot to learn from her. You can see that there is the title of her talk, Cadmium concentration in potato tubers and the role of zinc fertilizers on its reduction in Iran. So we have a lot to learn from her, and she's her she's here for to teach us how she's creating this, how she's leading the change. So go on. Hello, everybody. I hope everything is great with you. Thanks a billion for your invitation. I have to be really grateful of my dear hardworking friends and YALS STEM group that they gave me this opportunity to talk here, to speak with you. And uh, the pleasure is all mine. I always believe in YALS. I always believe that they can find solution and they can be a part of solution. So I'm Sayyida Khamsa Asfarian, the holder of master's degree in uh, soil science engineering, soil chemistry, fertility, and plant nutrition from Tariat Modaris University in Iran. And I'm here to give you a drop of my master thesis ocean. Uh, at first, I have to be really grateful of my dear supervisor, uh, Professor Malakuti, uh, and uh, also my dear advisor, dear Dr. Davidel, that they really gave me their supports and their valuable uh, and positive energy to come here and speak with you. My topic is on a study on the cadmium concentration in potato tubes and the rule of zinc fertilizers on its reduction in Iran. I always uh, believe that health comes from the farm. Food security means providing safe, nutritious, and affordable food for all. Increasing agricultural production, increasing the quality of agricultural products, observance of environmental issues, and improving soil quality are those kind of factors that can help us to go through food security. But about the second item, how can we increase the quality of agricultural products? Something that can help us is using chemical fertilizers. But uh, let me emphasize on it, a balanced fertilization by chemical fertilizers. The first step is, uh, in achieving food security is to be aware of the status of contaminants in the production substrates like soil, water, and their processing. The food chain is one of the most important ways in which mineral contaminants can enter the human body. But here you see sustainable development goals, something that I have focused on it is the uh, second uh, goal here, which it is zero hunger. I always try to, uh, I mean, uh, uh, come nearer to this uh, point in my research, or, I mean, different kind of research, and I hope to, uh, I hope we all around the world reach it in the near future. According to the FAO, at least 33% uh, of the world's agricultural production over the past four decades has been due to the use of chemical fertilizers. In countries where fertilizer consumption is optimal, this increase is more than 60% with good management of other factors affecting production. As the word, based on the results of uh, 362 field experiments, examined the rule of chemical fertilizer in increasing the yield of some crops, including wheat, corn, soybeans, and rice. 
and concluded that uh, 40 to 60 percent of agricultural production in the United States and the United Kingdom is due to the use of chemical fertilizers, which was more than 60 percent in tropics. The consequences of unbalanced fertilization are yield decreasing and contaminants accumulation, such as cadmium and nitrate. Contaminants existence in food uh, leads to food security disorder and dying about 90,000 people annually in Iran because of cancer. So why I chose uh, potato? It is the fifth uh, food product of Iran and the world. Uh, one of the most valuable foods in the world includes vitamin C, minerals, and essential proteins. 5.2% of the world's daily energy comes from potato because it is one of the strategical, uh, I mean, crops around the world. Ardebil is the second province in Iran in potato production. Uh, with 14.9% uh, of Iran's potato production. The potato yield in Erdebil in 2019 was 37.4 ton per hectare. And it is, uh, I mean, Erdebil, it is the uh, city that I was born there. Because of that, I uh, chose there for uh, doing my research there and uh, the other reason was uh, that Ardebil is the most important regions in Iran in producing potato. Okay, a potato consumption with high cadmium content can pose health risks for both children and adults. Health risks can be mitigated by optimum fertilizer use in high risk areas. But uh, why I focused on cadmium? It is absorbed by the plant without any toxicity signs. The toxic and carcinogenic element in the food chain, cadmium is, it accumulates in the uh, liver and kidney and causes many disorders. And the most important sources of cadmium in the soils include uh, three superphosphate chemical fertilizer containing cadmium and zinc deficiency in the soils. Okay. Uh, it should be noted that Iran's arable soils are calcareous and the percentage of cadmium, uh, I mean, uh, the cadmium in some cases are high and the percentage of calcium carbonate equivalent in them in some cases reaches more than 50%. Phosphorus deposition in the form of three calcium phosphate persuades farmers to use imported phosphate fertilizers, which can be source of more cadmium entering the soil. Zinc deficiency in the Iran arable soils for several reasons, including lack of organic matter and persistence in unbalanced uh, fertilizer application will lead to lack of available zinc in arable soils, uh, which causes zinc deficiency in plants. And also in order to meet the high need for zinc, uh, the plant absorbs cadmium due to the unique similarity uh, through a specific and even non-specific carriers. Uh, zinc's uh, absorption is as uh, zinc cation. Uh, it has active absorption through the roots. The main rules of zinc are protein synthesis and different kind of important rules that we can focus on. So I did my own research in two different phases. The first phase was, I mean, evaluation of cadmium concentration in potato tubes produced by common fertilization in Ardebil province. And the second phase was the effect of zinc fertilizers on potato yield and cadmium concentration in Ardebil province uh, that I've done uh, uh, these two different phases in 2019 and 2020. Okay, here you see different steps of my, uh, I mean, uh, practical work. The first phase, the second phase that in the first phase, I did some laboratory works and second phase, uh, I did, uh, I mean, laboratory works, including my farm works. Uh, I prepared the farm. Uh, here you see the pictures and then I applied my treatments. Uh, in my farm uh, on different blocks. And I wanted to know that, uh, I mean, what is the effect of uh, zinc fertilizers on uh, decreasing cadmium concentration? Uh, I mean, uh, is it a kind of uh, positive and significant uh, influence or not? 
So here you see different pictures. Okay, now on, I want to go through the, uh, I mean, results. About uh, tubers yield, I can tell the effect of uh, potassium sulfate, including zinc chelate and zinc chelate treatments on potato tubers yield was uh, significant at the level of 1%. The highest yield was related to the, uh, uh, I mean, my sec, uh, my third, my third uh, treatment by uh, uh, thirty four thousand kilogram per hectare, and the lowest in control by uh, uh, by about twenty three thousand kilogram by, I mean, uh, per hectare. Okay, here you see some uh, different research articles that. Uh, also, they uh, confirm my result. Okay, about uh, the effect of zinc concentration, uh, I mean the zinc fertilizers on zinc concentration in potato tubes, the zinc analysis also illustrates the significant difference between uh, uh, treatments. It is obvious that the zinc chelate treatment is at the head of the game. Uh, you know uh, that we see here, I mean, the third treatment that it has uh, about 33.16 uh, and the second treatment, which its zinc concentration was 38.26 and it had highest zinc concentration. Again, uh, I mean, you see the significant, uh, I mean, uh, increase. Uh, and here you see the research articles. Uh, the next one is about cadmium concentration in potato tubers. The main point of my article, it is obvious that there is a significant difference between cadmium concentration, uh, I mean, in a control plots, potato tubers and the treatments in which zinc fertilizers have been used. The maximum cadmium concentration has observed in the control treatment and uh, the minimum has obtained uh, in the third treatment that I used uh, potassium sulfate, including zinc chelate. Again, you see different research articles that uh, confirm my result. Okay, the most important reason for increasing the tubes yield due to the consumption of zinc can be the rule of this element in carbohydrate metabolism. Following its rule in the structure of RNA polymerase enzymes and carboxyl phosphate, this element increases the glucose and starch content in the plant tissue and as a result will improve the yield. Zinc is involved in the activity of enzymes in chlorophyll formation and consequently in photosynthesis synthesis and accelerates the formation of hormones such as tryptophan as the raw material of auxins, the use of fertilizers according to the soil analysis results and increasing the efficiency of elements in the plant should be noticed. Uh, and let me tell you that the effect of zinc, uh, I mean, fertilizers in reducing the concentration of cadmium in potato tubers was such that the uh, concentration of cadmium in potatoes reached less than recommended by codex. Therefore, it is recommended that in addition to observing the principles of balanced use of fertilizers due to the amount of potassium and usable zinc in cultivated soils, we can reduce the amount of cadmium in agricultural products in order to ensure food security and produce healthy crops that it is the main goal of all the scientists around the world. And these are my suggestions. Actually, uh, the FAOs uh, emphasize on soil pollution as a hidden reality uh, that uh, was released uh, in the last year, soil, uh, World Soil Day. Thanks a billion, uh, dear friends, for your uh, attention. I'm uh, really pleased that I uh, had this opportunity to share my ideas, my, uh, I mean, research with you, just a small part of that. Uh, due to the time limitation, I really ask you to share your comments, your ideas, whatever with me through my email address that you see here. Uh, we believe the nation that destroy its soil destroy itself. So I hope 
uh, that uh, I mean, uh, our future uh, will be really bright with the ideas that you re uh, that you release here. And I believe that your system matters. Thanks a billion uh, for your uh, attention. Have a nice time and bye. Thank you so much, Sadie. It was so cool to see how much time do you spend on research and how much time do you spend on creating finally your product, your prototype and your investigation. It's so cool to see our ideas come to life.